And now his initial hearing is off to a rocky start. Stand up, brother. I don't know why the person who's like in handcuffs and is like standing in front of the judge feels like they're in like a position of power. My first name, that's it. Giggles or Tobias. That's it. Don't call me that now. Giggles may be his street name. Tobias Roman later pled no contest to the charge of threatening a public official and was sentenced to eight months in prison. Yeah. Also, just like, <laughs> I just don't get that. I feel like you've just like lost at this point. So you gotta just accept the lo the lose. The, the, lo the lose? The loss. <laughs> you just have to accept the loss and move on. He did not want to accept the loss though. So he got eight months in jail. You speak again. I'm just going to golf digger. I think that says supposed to say gold. Throw you out. Where's the engagement ring? I pawned it because I needed the money. Really? Yes, I did. Then take off the coat. Bill! <gasps> take off Ooh. the coat. Then take off the coat. That's not fair, Judge. It was a uh, Just a second. Also, I don't know. I just wouldn't pawn off the engagement ring. Well, I guess it depends. He can take, take the ring no, back no, no, when no, I no. get back. No, no, no. But the coat is take a gift. Listen to me. You think you're smarter than no, I am? No, I don't. You think you're smarter than I am? How long were you married for? We're gonna hold your coat for safekeeping. When he gets the ring back, you get back the coat. Do we understand each other? Now mm. take off the coat. <sighs> then you can have the coat back. See how wonderful that is, Mr. Hudson? Yes, ma'am. Give it to him. It's really funny. <laughs> he wanted the fur coat back because he couldn't get the engagement ring back. I mean, I don't know, I guess that's fair. Like, listen, I've never been divorced or had to call off an engagement, so I don't know how that works, but I feel like in either of those situations, I would probably give back the expensive thing, you know? Like, I would rather give back the engagement ring that I'm not gonna wear anymore than the fur coat that I might still wanna wear, personally. Guys, married people weigh in. Nobody needs to hear my opinion about this when I've never gone through it. You weigh in if you were in this situation. What do you do with the rate? I don't know. Let me know. Here's in prison. Did you just give me 40 years? Sir? Yes. You just gave me 40 years. Well, guess what? Dang, does anyone know what he did? Because, like, 40 years is a long time. Well, guess what? Sir, can you please hand me the Ooh, couldn't have been good. You can't play Jesus and God? What's wrong with you? What was he like doing? Was he just gonna try and like get up and run away? Or I don't know what he was doing with his little, he was, looked like he was trying to grab something from his little sling there, but don't reach for anything. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he could have. Like he's clearly in custody, but. Something shady's going on. Everyone's nervous. Honestly, I mean, I don't know what he did, but some there are just some crimes that good singing can't excuse. You know what I mean? That door I closed oh no. And your honor, I'm sorry, sorry, oh no. sorry, sorry Well, you're obviously a talented Agreed. young man And I hope that you'll be able to use your time productively When you're in the Michigan oh, Department of dang. Corrections to take a veil Judge O'Brien explains the minimum guideline range for his crimes Is 50 to 100 months Regardless of his talent. Well, I thought when he said 50 to 100 for a second, I thought it was gonna be years. Six to nine months. 69 months? No, six to nine months. But it's only months. That's still a long time. Don't get me wrong. It's still a long time. A few years. But listen, it's better than 50 to 100 years. Be a weird sentence. And he's got a beautiful voice, okay? But you still can't commit crime, even though you have a beautiful singing voice. Sorry, but that's just the rules. How have I done as a judge today? How, so far, how am I doing? Not bad, but you could do better. <laughs> <laughs>
Can we get a, can we get a drum roll with this? I gotta tell you, you're, you're, you brighten my day, ma'am. All right? That's what the last guy said, and then he sued me. <laughs> lady what did she do why is this old lady being arrested dang <laughs> that's funny she's funny she's got a good sense of humor all right we like that one we like that i i hope her crime wasn't that bad because she sure is funny but you never know you never know you never know what's going on i like you both all right what happens on the football field stays on the football field people get rough and tough and then they walk away Dang, dang, there's some football drama. They don't end up in court, okay? And you're a great kid. Now, this isn't ballet, it's football. Kids get hurt on a football field. The whole thing about being a bully. I have a lot of questions. Somebody obviously got hurt. At the bottom it said that somebody was suing for pain and suffering. It depends, it depends. Clearly, whatever Judge Piro, 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 I'm assuming it's Piro. Whatever Judge Piro saw, she was like, no, they were just playing football and that's it. So I'll go with her judgment. While waiting at court. Oh, dang. I don't like that one. I didn't like it. I have nothing funny to say about that because it's just not funny. Ooh, yikes. Uh, OMG. It's not good. It's not good. I mean, you definitely can't do that, but <laughs> like, uh, it's just a bad situation, you know? He's stressed. He's stressed. I'm not sure why he's stressed, but there might be a few reasons why he's stressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. When I said that you had a certain amount of remorse, I was. That's crazy. Oh, man. There's part of me that, like, heard what he was saying and, like, does feel for that because there are people who really just never got a chance and never got a break. The defendant has shown me that he has no remorse whatsoever, and therefore the court determines that maximum. Dang. imprisonment is that's needed. crazy but at the same time like i don't know what he did you know and there are some crimes that you don't need a break to not commit if that makes sense so i don't know sometimes people do just need a break so i do get that but you still shouldn't commit crimes i like her judge lauren lake i like her Destiny just popped off with her little dance after I announced the result. That was so ignorant. And then you followed up and showed me where she learned it from. Come on with this. The boy's I'm furious. Dang. She was not playing around. She let them have it, and I respect it. Your daughter's putting her dreams, opening her legs, trying to get a dream up between her legs instead of having a dream in her mind. And you want to argue with this woman across this courtroom. Come on now. Now y'all have made me crazy. Y'all think y'all crazy, I'm crazy for these kids and this baby. You ain't gonna do this to this child. She was like, I've got something to say and I'm gonna say it now. I always see her clips, but it never has her name. Judge Lauren Light. I gotta remember that. I like her. And something that you don't know about me is that I was actually born and raised in Honduras. Mm -hmm. So I had to take a year off from school to learn English. And that's why you don't have any respect for our laws here? And how does... And personal how, property? How do you take... He's not familiar with our laws here. That's so funny. I mean, like, how does she not realize that she sounds like an idiot? Two days prior, my son had had an altercation with another student at the school. We assumed... Your son? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your son had an altercation with somebody? Your pure son? <laughs> with no Honduras in him? Yes, yes, Pure Connor. snow? Yes, yes. Uncut? Really, I mean, I know that's rude to say, but it's the truth, it's the truth. She sounds rude, she sounds discriminatory, and Judge Mathis said, no, no thank you, ma'am. We're not doing that today. For anyone who does not agree with these things, does not think that they should be the law. Does anyone who does not think we should have the presumption of innocence? For the record again, no one has raised their hands. Sir, 
lawyer is being biased. If I'm a convict, I want to testify by myself. He won't speak up. I've been giving him questions. He won't speak up. Sir, that's because it's not his turn to ask questions. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay, I was about to be like, listen, his lawyer should like maybe at least look at the questions. Like his lawyer's just completely ignoring him. But then, <laughs> you know, he attacks him at the end. So maybe I kind of understand a little bit more why his lawyer is ignoring him. Again, I also know nothing about being a lawyer. So maybe that's just like sometimes you have to when you're, you know, defending certain people, you just kind of got to focus. And he could be focused on something he really needs to be paying attention to instead of this guy's questions. But there is part of me that's like, oh, should you be like not ignoring him is really what I'm trying to get at. Are there any lawyers who watch Top 10 Central? That'd be funny. <laughs> want to talk to me about me at Bond with me? What do you want to tell me? About what? Bond. Nice. Let's be honest with you. 30 days in the county jail for contempt. Cuff him if you get the cuffs. Come on, I get it, I get it. You're clearly upset and stuff, but you made your bed, and sometimes you gotta lay in that bed. Hold on, it's $5,000 cash surety bond, subject to the temporary protection order. He nice. just swore at the judge. Can I give you a piece of advice? What? You can either make life easy or you can make life hard. I already ruined my life. That's 60. No, That's 306. No, no. Now I gotta come here and my life up. you. No, Man, not. like, you cannot act like that. Especially you're an adult. There are consequences for your actions. And your family's there, you're just acting crazy in front of your family who's like, please stop getting yourself sent to jail for longer. Come on, we would really like to enjoy life with you. So just, after that first one, I probably would have learned to shut my little mouth. <laughs> he is, he is yeah. a liver. Uh -huh. He goes to school? He does. So what do you do during the day? Nothing. You don't want to work? No, no. So you're just living off of his child support? I am. And we live with our mother. And you're proud of that? Well, well we were living with him, and I was a stay-at-home mom. He made the income. I was living off of someone else's work? Shady, shady. Okay. But, I mean... But you can work now, right? I can, but... So, it's no but. But you can go get a job, right? I could, but I'm not going to. My rent's free. My food is free. Come on, that's one of the things. Don't have kids if you don't want to work to provide for them. So that will slightly bring your child support down. And down? Monthly, yes, slightly. What well, would be more if you get a job? He would pay more if I got a job? No, it would be more for the child if you got a job. Yeah, I'm really glad that the judge said those things because it's true. There's a big difference between people who don't work because they can't for a variety of reasons and people who just don't want to. Those people are annoying. It's annoying. Hi, no one wants to. <laughs> well, some people I'm sure want to and love it, but not everyone. Sometimes you just got to. It's just, especially when you have kids like. 26,000 with tips a year. You're laughing at that, but you're in this courtroom asking for her to pay you child support. It's either that or just leave me and the kids and let us live our lives. Dang, this guy sucks. Just stay out, you know? They don't need, no, they don't need an that's addict not as a mother to be, to be constantly- to Do you want me to help you get child support? Because if not, we can stop yes, this yes, today. Yes, and sorry. You can come back another day when you're- uh, Yeah, miss I mean, another day at work? She's being so rude. I've seen this judge before and I like her. She does like old like child support cases, I'm pretty sure. And she always tells people how it is. And I respect that and I appreciate it because sometimes you just need someone to tell it like it is. What is that symbol that you are projecting with your fingers? Um, using my middle finger and I am sorry. I wonder what happened. They really left us on a cliffhanger there. <laughs> and who were you extending the finger to, sir? Mr. Eden is absolutely prohibited. That sign is posted on the door outside, is it not? It is. Was there anything about that that you did not understand, sir? No, no, sir. Could you tell this court why you should not be held in contempt of court? I'm truly sorry for, for doing this. This is something stupid. 
I mean, that judge seemed very reasonable, very, you know, he was ready to teach the lesson, but um, he was also forgiving, it seemed like. I got that vibe from him, so I have a feeling that maybe he didn't go to jail for contempt, but who knows? Let me know. If you know the ending to this, let me know. I don't like a cliffhanger. My face. I kindly placed her hand down and told her, you need to back up. You know, you don't know me like that. You need to calm down. We exchanged a few words. I tried to walk past her. She proceeded to put her hand on my throat to choke me. And that's when I just had to let loose. Okay. These like cuts in this video are stressing me out. It's so hard to focus. <laughs> and that video is going to show right here. Good. Now I'm going to start with Miss Hanson. Yes, ma'am. So did you park too close to her car? It was a very tight space. And did I you park too close to her car? No. Okay. When you got out of your car, did your car door hit her car? It touched it. Then that was wrong, that it was too close to her car. Now, a small person may have been able to get out, but you're not a small person. Correct. So when you got out of the car and opened the door, it hit her property. Yeah, Judge Judy said it pretty simply. Could you open your car door without hitting hers? No, then you probably parked too close. End of the story. <laughs> My lawyer is going against my will. He's going against my, my choices. He's not notifying me or informing any of these things. Shoot, then two doctors what? have to say you're okay. I understand that, but with legitimate reasons. So is this guy mad that like the doctor's like, maybe he's not exactly fit to stand trial. And one doctor says you're not okay as far as competency legally. And then another doctor says you refuse to talk to them. Mr. Stein, thank you. This is a ball existing, these State versus Elvin yeah. C313-2831, the record to reflect the rubbish. Oh, long. Okay, wait. Because, like, if you don't talk to one of them, that just seems like the consequences of your own actions. If you just don't talk to one, there's only so much they can do, only so much they can assume. I mean, it seems like he didn't assume anything because she was just like, one said no, and then the other said that you didn't talk to them. So, it's crazy. It's crazy. Court is weird. Like, I know so little about court. Almost zero percent. There's so many things going on, so many moving parts. It's weird. And the purpose of the sanctions are, are based on what? It was a frivolous and vexatious PPO based on nonsense. I am not stalking Mr. Nichols. I haven't signed a PPO. How can you ask to sanction someone when you haven't even been served? That's the point. He the a call. Not... That lady just wanted to go to court because she was mad at someone. It's, don't do that. It's a waste of everyone's time and money. Do not interrupt me when I'm speaking, ma'am. Had I issued a PPO, you would have a basis to be before me. I did not issue a PPO. He did not pursue his right to a hearing on the PPO. You were never served. And here you are taking up my time so that you want me to chastise him and, and make him pay money? No, ma'am. Your relief is denied. And in addition to that, I am sanctioning you with costs of $500. Dang. You can't waste the court's time, man. They don't like it. They got a lot of people to see, a lot of things to do. Everyone has their right to a fair and speedy trial. So you gotta get in, get out. And you only need to get in if you have a real reason. The thing is, that's my best friend. I, I wasn't trying to put her in any danger. I wasn't trying to- You think that it's not putting a dog in danger to breed a dog and to let her be in labor for 48 hours instead of- I don't think Mother of Nature is dangerous, no. I, I, I thought her giving- What, the guy's never heard of modern medicine? birth to some that that it would be fine I, mr. I conrad was... mr conrad the first time a man has to be in labor for 24 hours without assistance is the last time there will be a birth in this country yeah, in, I the was world. in the world first time a man has to be in labor for 24 hours it was oh, that's not happening again <laughs> i mean plants would rule the world okay that's really funny so he had a dog that was in labor for 24 for 48 hours i think he said what? And he's like, no, nature is just gonna, uh, what? I don't know, it just seems weird that he's like, no, nature will run its course. I'm like, read a book, Google it. There's so many things to tell you that that's not good. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if that's the real scenario, but if it is, geez Louise, that poor dog. I am not sorry for something I didn't do, and I am not sorry 
for the things I did do. All right. Is this so? I kind of know like a little bit about this case. It's pretty horrifying, so I won't really go into it. Stop right. Stop. Right. Listen to me. I'm not. I'm You're not. You're not gonna raise your voice again. I'm You're not, not gonna, gonna raise my voice again. again. I'm not. I will have you removed from this courtroom. I can sentence you without you being present. Yes, ma'am. I understand, yourself. young. Thank you. Didn't this guy like represent himself or something? And then this must be his sentencing hearing and he's still going off. Man, sometimes it's better to just, you know, say nothing as the defendant. <laughs> sometimes it really is just best to keep your mouth shut. You're only digging yourself a deeper hole sometimes by um, yelling in court. He was making himself aware because of a courtesy to other police officers, and he made it very ma clear. Ma'am, ma'am, you cannot testify right now, and everything you're saying, I am not taking into evidence. Oh, dang. Karen went to court over a $50 ticket, and she blames the officer for her fault. I mean, man. You will have okay, the- I'm very sorry, Your Honor. Ma'am, 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 it's my turn to speak. Okay opportunity to cross-examine the officer. If you have any questions for him, you may ask him questions, but your questions are not evidence. So you do not go off on all these other things that the magistrate was talking about because I'm not taking note of any of that. Those are not, okay. and those are just questions. What the officer is saying is the evidence that I'm going to take into account. So if you have any further okay. questions that you would like to ask the officer, please do so. That's the thing, people will go to court because sometimes the police officer doesn't show up and then they get off. So that was not the case today <laughs> in Zoom co court. Well, I can't speak today, what's wrong with me? In Zoom court, that was not the case. Man, going to court over Zoom would suck, especially for like the judge and stuff because it'd be way easier, I feel like, for people to just talk over you. I don't know, maybe that's not true, but I would feel, I would mute the person if they didn't stop talking. The car home. And listen, you know nothing about cars, but what you do know are the bits of lights that should stay on and the bits that shouldn't, right? Yes. And you saw a light come on. What was the light that came on? It was an engine light. I don't know. That's my reaction is, I simply do not know. And a ham the handbrake light was also flashing and um, the dials were moving up and down. And not good in other words. No. Don't know much, not good. The lights are flashing and you haven't bought yourself a mobile <laughs> disco. Okay, wait, correct? so... <laughs> Understood, correct. I, I want to know more. I need more. Like, I get it. I get what's going on. But did she buy the car or is she the seller of the car? I need to know. Oh, well, I, I assume the, the buyer because then he said you didn't buy yourself a mobile disco. I get it. I get it. Okay, we're figuring it out on the fly here. Unfortunately, um, my grandmother told me a long time ago, if you have nothing nice to say about somebody, <laughs> don't say it in your honor. At this point, I have nothing good to say. Thank you. Yeah, I like that saying though. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I mean, sometimes it applies, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta say something rude, okay? But when we're talking about the Karens, they need to learn that rule. Can we have people refresh this jail time? Well, you're going to have to go to jail today. You need to get out. I'm not ready. Um, sorry. You don't get to decide if you're ready or not. I don't think anyone's ever really ready to go to jail. You're getting hearing when you consider furloughs. Personally, I'm not. <laughs> Thank God I'm not in a courtroom. Not how that works. Also, you could, you'll probably get in trouble more for just leaving, right? That's gotta be a crime. Dang, oof, that's scary. That's scary. I'm so afraid of jail. It's so scary to me. Didn't board out the north. I Talking! That's your second north. strike. Madam, madam, you'll be out if you carry on like this. I have some papers in my chambers. I just want to refer to them. Dang. I mean, you cannot swear in court unless it's part of the evidence. In the course of my judgment. I think the ones I was referring to earlier. Do you remember? Yeah. Thank you very much. You say that's roughly £5,000. He says that. Now, madam, that may or may not matter, I have to tell you, for the purposes of these proceedings. Thank you very much. And you can't argue with the judge or the other person. They don't like that very much. They don't like that. Especially not Judge Rinder. Rinder? Rinder. I'll never know. At this point now, I'm confused over which one it really is. <laughs> yeah. Same 
courtroom so this guy just like gives his like statement or whatever I don't know it seems like maybe like an impact statement maybe and then the guy like freaks out assuming he did the crime that he's on trial for what did you think was gonna happen man I don't know what's going on so <laughs> it is tough for me to say Dang, he was just mad. That was just a quick one and he was just angry. He just didn't want to be there. I just like don't understand the tactic of like cursing at the judge. I'm just not sure what everyone thinks that's gonna do, where that's gonna get them. You know, usually if you're respectful to the judge, just maybe, depending on the crime, they might be a little bit more lenient perhaps. But uh, no, I don't think like swearing and having a public freak out is gonna do the thing. But also, I mean, listen, when you're in court, tensions are high, people are antsy, doesn't excuse it. You still, sh you still shouldn't act like that, but what are we gonna do? Oh, dang. Dang. Sometimes I watch court things and then I'm like, man, why do they have to have that person like all, like, you know when they got the handcuffs and then they've ha got the thing around like the cuffs on their ankles and stuff. Sometimes it's like, oh man, why does that person have to be all like chained up essentially? But then you see things like this and you go, it's so things like this don't happen. People are wiling out in court. It is just a madhouse sometimes. People are all over the place. This guy just sprinted to the front and jumped over the witness stand what crazy it's also like just strange because I wonder how you get to that point like there's so many people there there's cops there there's a judge there like there's so many people there's CCTV cameras like you cannot get away with this crime and it is a crime you can't just like attack people in court but then you see the times when it's like family member of like the victim or whatever attacking the person who like did the horrible thing and you're like ah, oh, you can't do that but I fully understand why you did that like oh man I'm like you still can't in that situation but I'm like I don't blame you at all is the difference and that might be hypocritical and that's okay <laughs> no ma'am what's your name and dad's number I, I, I don't feel safe now let me see your phone so I can call I need to see more of this situation it just seemed like everyone was like really hyped so I don't know if the thing was over a t-shirt potentially could have been over you know the person who was just yelling at the police